libertad y al pensamiento ajeno A un delente más infeliz es mi fanatismo Si muero me matan será por eso well, Welcome to the Witchy Hour, this is Witchy Tom How you all doing today on this beautiful Wednesday afternoon? Now you all hearing the sound of my voice may be something that's terrible, it may be something annoying, but remember, I might be a witch, but I'm not your bitch. You're the one who's listening. Now this is Witchy Tom breaking out with the latest and most exciting news on the fucking planet. I'm sorry, but our show is not PG. It is rated R. R for restricted. R for ridiculous. R for revengeful. Now what we got going on in the news today here in wonderful Tampa Bay, Florida... Christian Giles has been arrested again, and this time on charges that he's connected to a ninth grader down in Lakeland, uh, Lakeland High School. Now look, if y'all haven't heard about this Monaco motherfucker from Polk County, this low-life Monaco piece of dog shit was having sex with uh, teenage students between the ages of 15 and 17 in the uh, Lakeland uh, County High Schools over here. Now this motherfucker was paying 15 year old ninth grade students and 17 up to 17 year old 19 students to uh, he made them he, Giles made uh, repeated sexual comments to them slapped them on the rear asked to see their genitalia and called them nicknames like sexy chocolate while he touched them on their stomach now this motherfucker was raping young boys he was forcing young boys to take money for him to have sex with now I don't know how you all feel about fucking perverts sexual offenders or Monaco motherfuckers such as this but for me I'm personally offended that this guy was not accidentally dropped off a bridge back in the old days it didn't matter where you came from race color creed nationality or otherwise who the fuck you were you fuck with a young child you gonna die like that unfortunately the state of Florida and the south and otherwise the rest of the country got civilized damn but you know what I'm Italian and Italians do not have too many sexual offenders, you can look back in the old times, because we kind of have a way of dealing with them. In any case, I'm going to read a little bit about this teacher's aide is being accused for paying students for sex at a Lakeland High School, has just been arrested again on a new charge. John, uh, Christian Giles, a former paraprofessional teacher's aide at uh, local Lakeland High School, was charged with eight sexually related crimes on Sunday after surrendering at the Polk County Jail. He made bail Monday, but was arrested again Tuesday night by Polk Sheriff's County deputies, uh, Sheriff's deputies, detectives, on a charge of lewd and lascivious conduct related to a yet another alleged victim. Detectives say that the 15-year-old ninth-grade student was a student at the high school, told them that Giles had repeated sexual comments to him, slapped him on the rear, asked to see his genitalia, called him nicknames such as sexy chocolate, and touched him on his stomach. What a sick motherfucking son of a bitch. Part of my French. But according to detectives, the new alleged victim said he saw Giles as a father figure. And at the beginning of school year, uh, at the beginning of school year, but eventually became uncomfortable around him. Giles was initially arrested on eight charges involving four boys who were under his authority. Detectives say he paid four male students to let him perform oral sex on them and then tried to do the same with two other male students. The students were behaved between the ages of 15 and 17, detectives say. Besides the new charge, Giles faces two counts of sexual battery on a person under his custodial authority, uh, unlawful sexual acts with a minor, two counts of procuring a per person under the age of 18 for prostitution, and two counts of procuring a person under the age of 18 for attempted prostitution and solicitation of a person under 18 engaged in sexual battery. Giles is a, hus is a husband and father of four. Up to until a year and a half ago, Giles and his family were active members in the Spirit Life Worship Center in Lakeland. He is currently being held without bond. Well, let me ask you something, wonderful Polk County court systems. Why the fuck was this son of a bitch anyway out on bail, which he got on Monday, and then arrested again? A known child molester. Now, I'm sorry, the verdict is not in, ladies and gentlemen, until the son of a bitch is in jail. But when you got a guy who's accused of raping, molesting, or trying to, to over six students, I don't care the male or female, in, in such a short time period, how the fuck are you going to let him out on bail? Now, excuse me for being gripey, but that's just bullshit. 
I don't know how y'all feel, but later on the Witchy Show, live at midnight, we're going to be trying to talk about this. Tonight's broadcast might be at 11 p.m. I don't know. You wonderful people out there in listening land, I want to hear your thoughts and opinions. If you do have any, just write it on my comment page on YouTube, otherwise throw it on Facebook. Some people feel like it, some people don't, but listen, Witchy Charm is down with anything you do. If he gets his message out to one person to be otherwise repugnant, disgrace, or as hurtful at how law enforcement and how a school district from the first place can allow this kind of man to manipulate and otherwise degrade wonderful or to be wonderful potential members of our society who have now had their fucking lives shattered, please let me know what your opinion is. Witchy Time will be throwing this in the next edition of the jail paper because you know what? This is outrageous, outrageous, and otherwise on egg fucking acceptable. In any case, that's Witchy Wom, Witchy Tom's word on today's news because otherwise I'm going to be vomiting afterwards. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. You tuned in for a wonderful broadcast of Witchy Tom. Yesterday we were talking about Zimmer Woman, <laughs> the unfortunate mistress of medieval who's been put in jail. We're going to throw up a picture of her later where she looks more like, well, maybe like this. Maybe like that. Maybe like this. And maybe something like that. But we're not sure. The poor Mrs. Zimmerman. And in any case, Witchy Tom wants to break into every time on his show that he tries to relax and and talk about something fun. What happened in Witchy's day today? Now look, check it. Witchy has tried. Now he's tried. He's tried. To tell a young friend of his named Gabriel. Gabriel was all in love with this young lady. Let's just say for argument's sake, the young lady's name was Ash. Okay? And Gabriel and Ash, they had a beautiful little thing going for a while. Gabe and Ash would get together for like two months. Oh, it was all so well. Gabe thought that she was the best thing since sliced bread. Now look, I'm not going to disagree with a wonderful girl. But the girl has problems. The girl has issues. And unfortunately, poor little Gabe and all the king's men couldn't, couldn't put little Ash together again. He tried, he wanted to, but what are you going to do? So what does Gabe do? Gabe decides to drop on by and try to talk to her on Facebook. Now look, Gabe made a couple wrong moves, and Gabe did some dumb ass shit. But what does he do on Facebook? He tries to talk to her about it. Oh, we're like, oh shit. Now look, some of you people are laughing at this because you think I'm being silly. Look, how many people try to talk to somebody on Facebook? I mean, I'm telling you from the get-go, when you try to have a discussion with somebody on Facebook, it's a dumb move, man. Talk to the person on the telephone because all that's going to happen is that person is eventually going to block you on Facebook and not want to talk to you. I'm sorry. They just don't want to deal with your bullshit. Now look, it's as lovable as another thing for somebody to have such undying, profound love for somebody. And it's a beautiful thing. And you know what? Gabe and Ash, they make a beautiful couple. I'm telling you, this girl has some good qualities and this guy has his good qualities. But if you don't work together, unless the mutual parties want to work it out, Gabe, come on, bro. Don't try to roll in the fire, man. A fire troll on a roll is going to tell you, don't try to roll in the deep, baby, because you're only going to get burned. This girl is wonderful, yeah. But you know what? Let her come back to where she needs to be at and don't mess with her, man. Because this girl is just going to hurt you in the end. She's a wonderful girl, but let her know herself first. A good person gave me a good piece of advice. Which is people got to find out for themselves. This is a key word. I don't care how old you are. You got to find out for yourselves exactly what's going to happen in life. Nobody can force anybody to think what they want to think. Okay, so witchy's words of wisdom. Yes, it is. Wisdom. What suddenly? Witchy's words of wisdom today is if you have a relationship, it's beautiful. Save the beautiful parts of that relationship. But you know what? Unless both parties want to try to do it again, don't force the other to think the way you want to think. You love them. Just let it roll. That other person knows that you do love them. And maybe they're going through a hard time. I don't care if the person's addicted to booze, pot, coke, whatever. That person's going to know that you love him. And the more you back off, the better it is. Be there to comfort them. But Witchy's words of wisdom is, if it doesn't work, don't try to fix it until it needs to be fixed. That's Witchy's words of wisdom today. 
Uh, once again, this is Wonderful Witchy Tom with the Witching Hour here on live on YouTube. You can catch us at well, Witchy Tom on Facebook again, or www.myfacebook.com. But I'm not your bitch, but bring witchy. me some firewood. Check out our articles remember, Witchy Tom loves karma, but remember, karma might be a bitch, but Witchy is the bitch with a karma. So in any case, my wonderful folks and fans, next time, give us a call up on our live programs. You'll see the information down below. If you ever want to get in touch with Witchy after hours, it's area code 585-209-0942. And remember, Witchy Tom! Decidido a sobrevivir, aunque no encuentre el camino feliz. Se lleva en la memoria un trozo de libertad, el tango de...